Okay, I'm going to have a quick screencast here on making modular code. Um, so I'm going to switch over to um, Eclipse here. And I uh, see basically have an empty Hello World program. And a um, little trick here is if you double click on a tab, it'll uh, make everything full screen. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, going from the previous lesson, we're going to start our own namespace. And let's just call it C, let's call it Torbots. There we go. And we're going to create a function. This is called a, a declaration. And in this case, it's really going to be a, a forward declaration. I'm going to create a function called say hello. And by putting this semicolon at the end, that lets the compiler know, hey, there's no definition here. This is just a declaration. I'm, this say hello function is going to exist somewhere. And I'm going to give you enough information. I'm promising to give it enough information to find it. Now, in this case, all I'm going to do is put it down here later. Um, so main does not go in a namespace. Main, as I said, is a, a special name for a function. You can name your functions anything you want. And we said ours is going to be say hello. But we do have to put it in the namespace. So let's start the namespace again. And then now we're going to do the declaration of say hello. So here's say hello. And we're already using standard. So we can just say see out. I'm saying hello from somewhere other than main. OK, and let's put our new line character in there. Um, so here's our declaration. If the programs are sort of interpreted from the top to the bottom. And there are better ways of doing this, but this is we're, this is the first step. Is we're going to, just from the top, we're saying, hey, there's something called say hello. So that when we get here in main and we say say hello, it doesn't go, what? I don't know what that is. We've told it it's a function that returns void and takes no parameters. And, and it could call it. And uh, it says it cannot resolve say hello and give you guys a second see if you can figure out why can't it find say hello what did we learn in the first lesson and the answer is you can hit pause if you want to think about it for a minute the answer is we have to tell it what the namespace is right we have to tell it it's in Torrots. and then you can see the error goes away now we can build and I'm gonna double click here again so that we get our console window back and then I'm going to run. And I'm saying hello from somewhere other than main. OK? So that's your first lesson on both on using your own namespaces, putting your code in the namespaces, and um, doing a declaration, a forward declaration, and then a definition of the actual function.